In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from uppercase letter to lowercase letter. So there are two ways we can do this. We can use library function to convert from uppercase to lowercase or lowercase to uppercase. There are two function exists, two upper and two lower. On the other hand, we can use ASCII values that we have learned in the previous video. Of course, you remember, I told you this uh, 65 represent the uppercase A and the 97 represent this lowercase a and their difference is 32. Again, the same way if you think the small difference between small b or lowercase b and the uppercase b again is 32. So if we can convert, if we want to convert from uppercase to lowercase, then we have to add plus 32. And if we want to convert from lowercase to uppercase, then we have to subtract 32. That's all. So we can do this for sure, let's go. There are two ways to do, do this. So at least uh, at first I want to start with the ASCII values. So let me take a value here. Let's say at first I want to get the lowercase letter. We can do this. So let's get the lowercase value, lowercase letter. So I want to take a lowercase letter from user. So I will just give a message here, enter any lowercase letter. So at first we are trying to convert from lowercase to uppercase. And we're going to use our ASCII value, ASCII characters knowledge here. And then user will give us that value. We have to take that value, that letter using scanf, and we can use person C. And then let's put that value inside the variable called lowercase letter. That's also at first, we are taking the user input here. Sounds really cool. And now I want to convert that upper lowercase to uppercase. So let's do that. We can just paste it and I can say the equivalent uppercase letter uppercase letter and let me get rid of this and then I want to show that uppercase letter here so of course again if we want to print it to character we have to use this person C and now here the fun comes so let's say if somebody give a lowercase letter a here so this is the lowercase they're giving us and we are taking that input a inside the lowercase letter and now you remember what is the ASCII value for this one. The ASCII value for this one is 97. Now I want to convert that small a to capital A here. So what can I do? If I can subtract minus 32, remember the capital A ASCII value is 65. So if I can subtract 32 from this small or this lowercase letter, then I can get the uppercase letter. So let's do that. I'm going to you know subtract from the lowercase letter 32 that's all and this will make sure if i if i'm giving small b input here you know the ASCII value will be 98 and again from 98 if you subtract 32 it's going to be 66 which is equivalent to capital b so we are making sure it's working fine for any letter that we will provide here let's give it a try let's see what happened if i run this here again and let's see what is the output we have so let me just stop it and run it again just to show you so enter any case lowercase letter if i provide small m it should give us capital m and you can see it here it's working completely fine now, now the other way we can do we can convert from uppercase to lowercase letter let's do that so this time we're going to convert from uppercase to lowercase let me take the uppercase value here also let's just give a message here that enter uppercase letter and now how can we convert uppercase letter to lowercase letter let's think about the capital a which is 65 and now we want to convert that into 97 or small a which is 97 so how can we do this if we can add 32 with this uppercase letter the equivalent ascii value will be then 97 and 97 basically represent this lowercase a that's all so let me just use the right variable here by the way i typed it wrong or I haven't changed it yet so let's do that and now if I run this program you know how it's going to work let me do that this time it is asking for giving us one uppercase letter so let's do that I'm going to provide this a and it should return this small a there you go so you know how to do this conversion from uppercase to lowercase or lowercase to uppercase using ASCII values and ASCII characters now let's go for the other way we want to use two function called two lower and two upper now let's get the value first so we are going to get the user input here if somebody give us the capital letter we don't want to use this method anymore we want to use a function called to lower if we want to convert that so let's do this 
So I can use this function called to lower to convert any uppercase letter into lowercase letter. Now here I need to pass the variable name that I want to convert to lower. So I will pass that variable. So whatever value we'll give, let's think like you are going to give A, capital A. And that capital A will go here, this to lower function will convert it into lowercase. And now we can use this here instead of this uppercase plus 32, we can use this directly here and that should convert. So basically it's converting into lowercase and then you are printing with this person C. That letter is going to be printed with this person C. So let's give it a try, let's see what happened. Something is wrong, so it doesn't know about this two lower function that you are using. In this case, you have to input, uh, you have to import a library here to use this uppercase uh, to, uh, to lower function. So let's do that. I'm going to use that library called ctype.h so if you can include this, then it's going to work. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to work. This, this function belongs to this header. So let me run it again. This time you can see it's running fine. So I'm going to give a uppercase letter and the equivalent uh, lowercase letter, actually. I wanted to say here. So equivalent lowercase letter is going to be small a. Let me run again. I've given capital A and you can see the lowercase letter is small a here. We could store this inside a variable and then we could print it here as well. So either way is fine. Let me just do that. If I cut it from here, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to store that value into lowercase letter. So I need to create a variable by this name, lowercase letter, and then I'm going to print this lowercase letter here. That's all. But we have to define this lowercase letter variable at the top. So now what is happening here, somebody will give us uppercase letter and then we are going to convert this uppercase into lowercase with this function called to lower, which is basically coming from the C type dot H. And then we are storing that small letter value or the lowercase value inside this lowercase letter. And then finally we are printing, that's all. We can run it again and let's see what happened again. So if I give capital A, you can see the small A here. That's fine, great. And now we can do the other way, of course. So enter any lowercase letter to uppercase. This time we can do something like this. We can take the input as a lowercase letter and then we can convert it into uppercase. So let me use this lowercase letter variable in this case. And then what we're going to do, let's say if somebody give a small a, that small a will be here inside the lowercase letter. And this time we can use the function called to upper to do, to do the opposite. So if you give the value a for the lowercase letter, it will be here and this two upper will convert that small a to, you know, capital A. And then you have to store that inside the uppercase letter. That's all. And finally, you can print this uppercase letter after the conversion. And here I'm going to make the change. Just I'm going to say uppercase letter. That's all for now. And why not just add one more new line? That's all. Let's run this and let's see what happened. We are done here, of course, for sure, but we can run it to check whether it's working or not. So it is asking me to provide in a lowercase letter and there you go, it shows the uppercase letter A here, great.